Hello, I'm Natfoot, and today I will be showing some history in the Pacific Northwest and how that relates to OpenStreetMap mapping. Open Historical Map is a project to map the world's history. Jeff Meyer started Seattle's early history, which has boosted my continued contributions to Open Historical Map. As we go through history of the region, I'll be using the present day names for the sake of understanding. I would like to recognize the peoples of the Coast Salish tribes and the Duwamish tribe as I talk about the land the settlers developed. As some of you may know, I'm an enthusiastic uh, enthusiast of abandoned or raised railways on OpenStreetMap, and I get to flex that knowledge and even more on Open Historical Map. Seattle's first railroad was a narrow gauge light railway from the mines in Newcastle, Washington, to the Seattle waterfront. This line traversed the lakes of Lake Washington and Lake Union by barge. The line existed in this form from 1874 to 1878. At the end of this period, they had finished a line around the southern end of Lake Washington. The railroad to follow in construction was the Seattle Lakeshore and Eastern Railroad, which started construction in 1887. Seattle started with two lakes. One, Lake Union, which drained through tidal bay, a tidal bay known as Salmon Bay. The other, Lake Washington, drained through uh, the Black River slash Duwamish River. Uh, in 1916, a cut was made between Lake Washington and Lake Union, causing Lake Washington, drop, Lake Washington to drop by nine feet and rerouted the Cedar River into Lake Washington. The Ballard H. the Hiram M. Chittenden locks were the root cause of this inland waterway change and the flooding of Salmon Bay. As time passed, aerial images were taken from a plane in 1936 and published in 1937, eventually collected by King County and digitized. Another great benefit is the Seattle Municipal Archive and its digitized and open source photo collection. Many changes have occurred and continued to change. The interstate system came in the mid 1960s with I-5 and State Route 520. In the late 1970s, the railroad that once was the Seattle Lakeshore and Eastern Railroad became part of the Burke Gilman Trail. This trail is in the Hall of Fame of Rails to Trails Conservancy. This part of history is still a work in progress on the map. State Route 520 has continued to change right up to the present day by creating a new bridge and the old bridge's demolition. The creation of light rail is another showcase of transition. Through these mediums and through Open Historical Map, this shows you how we are developing Open Historical Map to represent history throughout time.